Hi, I'm Paula Shaw, and I'm here for another episode of Saying the Right Thing When You Don't Know What to Say, which is the title of my recently released book, which is available on Amazon. This book is all about helping you know what to say in those difficult conversations, because those are the tough ones. It's so easy for us to talk about fashion or sports or any of those kinds of things. But when somebody's going through something difficult or you have to tell them something that may not be welcome, then those conversations are tricky. And this little book is really excellent at helping you know how to handle those situations. One of the things I want to talk about in this video is the five steps of a successful, supportive communication. So, first step, set the right intention. Know clearly why you're going into the conversation. Know what you hope you get out of it. Is it conversation to support and comfort? Is it to get clarity? Is it to express feelings? Set your intention, and that can be as simple as my intention is, that this conversation will help my friend to feel safe to talk to me about what's going on. That's an intention. Step two, be present. If you are sitting there thinking about the grocery list or your presentation tomorrow or whatever, when somebody, when you're having that conversation where you hope someone will open up to you, it's not going to happen. Because the energy you're putting off is a different kind of energy. When you're focused and you're present, oh, the words flow so much more easily and everybody feels safer and everything goes better. So that's step two. Be present. Body and mind need to be in the same place. Step three. Have the right mindset. Don't be in this conversation to advise, to criticize, to teach. Any of those things are not really very helpful when somebody is hurting. So just come from the mindset of wanting to be supportive, to be helpful, and to, to just be there without judgment. And then comes the next step. Step four, listen. Really listen. This is the most important part of the conversation. Not what you say, so you're off the hook for having to come up with any fabulous wisdom, you know, some fount of wisdom that's going to change their lives. You don't have to be profound. You just need to be present and listening. That's the most important part. Listen with the intent to hear, not thinking about what you're going to say next. And finally, step five, when it's time to respond, Respond briefly and respectfully from the heart, not the head. Remember, people who are in emotional pain, they need your humanity, not your database. All right. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Saying the Right Thing, when you don't know what to say.